Hi guys, um, here to speak to you today about the vacuum pack machines. Um, you've all got one landed in your pubs now, I believe, of both a raw and a cooked backpack machine. Today I'm here to discuss the best way to practice on how to use it. Um, so today we'll start from the, this is at the end, this is what I've got. Uh, chorizo, beans, cassoulet for the scallop dish, backpacked and ready with the correct labeling procedures. So this is the end product. So we've got the chorizo beans with the date that it was, um, backpacked and the use by date there and with the employee signature so the label is fully labeled it's a 10 day labeling system obviously inclusive of the one day of production so nine days ahead so the quickest way to remember it is as you label for your day dots normally that plus one week um, so the backpack here we've got the this is my cook backpack uh, we this is and this is how we're gonna backpack this. So the best way to do this is in a jug so you get no spillages across the areas on the sides. And then you get no excess leakage and all the contents of the food is directly into the backpack machine. Okay, and you just wanna make sure that this is just directly over there, neatly in there. Turn the backpack on. Backpack is adjusting itself. I keep the backpack to a number 20 to make sure all the oxygen comes fully out and you get a nice tight seal on the backpacks. Now, if you're doing any gravies or anything like that or any loose base sauces, you might want to take it down to 15 so you don't have any spillages. Okay. So that's there now, backpacking in the background. There. So big top tips with this is make sure your product's fully chilled when you go to backpack it and also make sure that the product's fresh so when you're backpacking it and you're getting those full 10 days on it you're not just making the life larger of the product one of the products nearly out of date already so it's really important to get those fresh in. okay so here as you see nice tight seal yeah. same as the other one and that's ready to get a date on it, okay? So the backpack bags, you can put ready to eat ones here. Um, I'm currently waiting on some ready to eat and some official raw labels like you'll all be having delivered soon to the pubs. Um, that just stays in a little box, ready to eat and then gets stored away, okay? That will now get sanitized after use and turned off and just kept in that position. Okay, so the raw backpack, is kept over here. I personally have bought these two boxes from Wilco. I've kept the label on there so you can see what label of the box it is. I think they're great things. So this is my whole raw shelf. On this raw shelf, I'll bring this box up for you. This is my first raw box containing my peach paper for the all your meats, my J cloths for all my fish boxes. And my backpacks are all my raw backpack stuff. Also got my butcher string, my disposable aprons, and my raw clean film roll. So that's all tied away there in a nice sealable unit. And on the next one here, this is the backpack. Okay, so this is the smaller, just this is the smaller unit that we use, and this is just there in a nice box, all fits perfectly in and just there stored away. Perfect. So again, once they're all used, down there, and they get stored on that shelving unit down there with the rest of our raw chocolate boards. Um, so the food safety management diaries will now be updated um, with anything you need to know about the backpacks and any of the systems we need to follow. So please make sure all the team read through the new food safety ma ma messages in the manual and they're all aware of all the safety precautions of all of that. Uh, the biggest thing of it is just keep everything, the machines all clean, follow the clean down process of it and make sure that it's always separated and your raw one's always on your raw bench and you should be fine. Big thing though on the backpacks as well, just make sure you're not getting any leakages on the top of the backpack bags, that all that food is inside the backpack bag, otherwise then it will be contaminated the bag. Okay, your best to re-back it from there. Thank you.